Hey everyone, welcome back. So we have been working in WebDriver IO for some time now, and by the time we reached to, you know, we have recorded around 13 videos, we have seen, you know, different actions, how you can handle, you know, how you can handle calendars and all. And by the time there were some issues that was raised in WebDriver IO, and as part of patch fix, they have given some updates. So the version has changed now. Now, in this video, we are going to see how we can update any packages available in the Node.js space project. So let's check in the code first. So go to package.json and then these are the packages that we, we are using in our current project. And if you see WDIO CLI is 8.0.13 and similarly other projects as well and their Chrome driver is 0.08, TS Node 10.9.1. Now, if you want to see what is the current version for WDIO CLI, you can copy this. Now go to a website called npmjs.com enter that package name in search box and click on search button and then you'll get the match click on that you'll see the latest version is 8.2.1 it was published 18 hours ago and the same version you can see here as well so the current version is 2.1 but our version is 8.0.1 that means we need to update our project so if you want to update any project the num normally command is with the latest version you have to say npm install the package name and then you have to say add the rate latest so what it does basically it ignores the version defined here and it will take the latest and it will install it if you want to install some different version you have to say add the rate and particular version name so for example if you want to change chrome driver version you have to say npm install chrome driver and if you want to take latest you have to say add the rate latest if you want a specific version you can define version like 107 or any other version that's how you define it right now doing this one by one for all the packages can be tiring and it can be confusing as well so let's find a way where you can install all the package at once so let's go to website here uh, in npmjs website so let's search with ncu in the package here and then you will get this result called npm check updates so open this this particular package will help you to manage and upgrade your dependency so it says upgrades your package or json dependency to the latest version so what you have to do first you have to install this package in your project so you can copy this command from here and then simply paste it and then install the package so yeah the package is installed here npm check updates now what we have to do if you read through here we there are some different commands has been given but it will tell you here the command ncu if you run this so if you say ncu you might get error it says not found so you have to say npx space ncu and then enter now it will analyze your package.json and it will tell you what is your current version and what is the latest version so if you see here earlier report current version is 13 but the latest version is 2.1 see for the cli also it's 8.0.13 but the latest version is 0.2.1 as manually we have seen in the npm js website and then chrome driver is currently 108 but the latest version is 109 so red color den denotes it's the like major upgrade or the like a little more upgrade whereas the blue one it will tell you as minor changes or minor update is there so this will only sh tell you the difference so npx space nc will tell you only the difference what is the difference between the current version and and the project version then it says run npx npm check updates hyphen u to upgrade package audition so you can say npx either this complete command or you can simply say npx ncu space hyphen u once you say that and run now you will see the version will change here automatically now if you might have noticed there it all automatically updated the version so it is just updated the value in the package.json but actual node module so see what happens whenever you have any package.json here actual node will rest or the package dependency will reside in node modules folder in here so now to change make this effect available in node modules based on the latest version you have to say now npm install so what it will do basically here it is suggesting also run npm install to install new versions so it the first command has like checked the version second command has updated the record here and the third command npm install 
will actually upgrade based on whatever it update you have right it will update the node modules folder with the latest packages or latest dependencies so then yeah it says that 154 packages are looking for funding here added 53 packages or even 30 packages so based on the latest changes it has upgraded so yeah this is the way just want to show you how you can particularly update from one package or one version to another version how you can check you know you know available in the site what is the current version available which is in the npm js website and then if you want to update uh, as a bulk then you can use npm check updates module run the following command which i have explained and then update your packages or your versions available in your system so yeah i just want to show you that that's all for this video thank you so much